is Peggy for Crop Stop, and wait until you see this really quick, cool technique I learned how to do just yesterday, and I had to hurry up and show you today. I'm going to show you how you can make this special tape right here. I'm not sure how they say that Japanese tape. You girls know how I am with all those funky words. It's like washi tape, W-A-S-H-I tape. It's from Japan. Well, this is from Cincinnati. I just made it here. So anyway, I want to show you how easy it is to make that right there. Isn't that just too stinking cool? So let me put that aside and show you some of the things that I used. First of all, we are going to use some of our score tape. I forget what size this is. I think this is my one inch. Yeah, that's my one inch tape some tissue paper left over from Christmas wrapping. Then I just got these archival ink stamp pads from, of course, Crop Stop. Look at these colors. Olive, sepia, emerald green, and black. There's like, I think, I want to say there's like 20 something different colors. I'm only going to use a couple of them tonight just to show you what they look like. So we're going to use those. Of course, I'll be using my scissors. I want to show you again my glue glider. I'm loving this little tool when we do one of the cards. Let me bring some of these in and show you. Look at that. I just use different background stamps. So this one I think will be perfect for wild animals, giraffes, snakes kind of a thing. Look at that one. Isn't that just too cool? So you can make them any, any color you want. You can make them match your paper you're working with. Well, let me clear some things off and let me show you how easy this is to do. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is to figure out how big you want your piece of tape to be. And it will all depend on how big your tissue paper is. So I just kind of do this. Here's why I love this. Watch this. No scissors needed. Tears beautifully. Then I'm just going to lay this down on my work surface like so. Then I'm going to bring in a hunk of my tissue paper. Doesn't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about cutting it just perfect until I'm ready to trim it down. And then I'm simply going to lay it right on top of that tape. Now if you get little wrinkles, it won't matter because that just is going to give you texture on your piece of tape. So there's that part. Then I'm going to use my Fisker stamp plate because I love this thing. This is just a background stamp I pulled out and then I'm going to use the sepia. Now the reason I liked using the archival ink is because it dries quick and that was important because I wanted to use it up right away. I didn't want something that was going to take a long time or that I wanted to heat set. I wasn't really sure how my heat tool would react with the tissue paper and the tape itself. So I didn't want to, didn't want to take the chance on that. And then all I have to do is stamp. Oh, I forgot something. Darn, I almost forgot. i got to use this because it did make a much better image. This is my stamp pad. You know I use these things all the time. Okay, let me try that again. Then I'm going to stamp my image. Straight down, give it a press. And lift up. Ooh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Let me ink her up again. See, that's already drying, so I'll be able to use this right away, which is what I love about archival inks. And we'll do another one right there. Press down. Voila. Now, I really should clean that off right away because otherwise it's going to mess up my stamp a little bit. That's all right. Then all you have to do is just trim off all of your excess tissue paper. So let me do that real quick. Oh, I cut the tape. Didn't need to do that. So there's that little hunk. And we'll trim off this side real quick. And the cool thing about doing this, if you're like in a humor and you're not really designing anything or working on any big project, you could sit and make a ton of this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll it and put a paper clip on it and then put it in my little drawer so I'll have it for the future to use for the next card. So you can make up as much as you want. Alright, let me do that. Now, let me show you what I did on this card. I'm sure I don't have ink on my fingers. I went ahead and cuddle bugged the back of my piece of cardstock. Then I put the tape here and I just went right around the edge so that it's on there perfectly. Then I will just adhere that right to my card. The other reason I like this um, is because it doesn't take up a lot of space as far as dimensional. So if I'm going to mail a card, I'm not going to have to pay extra postage because it's a fat card. And then all I have to do is stick that on there. And I have a finished card. Is that too stinking cute? Alright, now let me show you what I want to do here. When I did this, I simply trimmed it off as straight as I could get it. 
just because, and I decide how long I want it to be, and I tear. I always tear towards myself. Then all you have to do is peel it apart. Get my fingernails underneath there. Well, it really does come off easy. There we go. Like so. And then I just placed it right on my card at whatever length I wanted. And then I just went right around the back. Rather than trying to trim it off, just like that. So you just do different ones all the way across there. I might add a couple of these. This one would look pretty cool in there for a man card. And this one. So I might just finish that card up adding those. So you just add your colors right across there. Stamp yourself a little verse. And voila, you have a card. Now, you don't have to go out there and buy all those different kinds of washi tapes or whatever they're called. You can go back and dig out a bunch of your old background stamps and go to town using your score tape, tissue paper, and don't forget, make sure you use archival ink because it really does make a big difference in how it looks. All right, well, that's all I can show you for today. So make sure to stop over to CropStop.com and tell them Peggy sent you. Bye.